Hi, welcome back to the Spirit of Watercolor. I had a wonderful Christmas and with family and I'm so thankful and I'm really hoping you had a wonderful holiday time yourself with your family and or friends. Hope everybody's safe and healthy and here we are between Christmas and New Year's and I just wanted to share something really nice with you. Um, I got the most unusual gift from my daughter. I love it. It's actually a little brush holder which I don't know. If I've never seen this before, so um, it, it's also a brush cleaner, so it's plastic, and it has little bumps at the bottom of the center of it there, and so what you do, as far as I can tell, I'm going to grab a brush here, it can be any brush, I guess, right, um, let's see what I've got, okay, because I haven't, I haven't tried this yet, but I'm going to, so so we'll put water in there, right? Maybe I should do that. And then your brushes can go, I guess, like this. Isn't that cute? And I think when they're like this, or maybe even like this, better. Because the brush can drip down, but it's also, if you have all the brushes you use on here, you know where they all are. When you're painting, you can pull one off and use it and so on. So that's pretty neat. Um, yeah, I'm trying to decide which way to do it. I think I'm gonna look for some instructions. <laughs> um, and so then the brushes can set here on this little, there's like a little area for them to set and blow dry. Um, and so, and then when you wanna clean them, you're gonna go in here. Isn't that cute? I mean, it's just a very clever thing. So you make sure you get all the paint off the brushes and then I would probably dip them back in my water container. But it's a way of extra cleaning them and then uh, organizing them and setting them on this little brush stand. So how about that? So that was what I wanted to share with you at the moment, but I am also excited that we're gonna go into some new videos when I talked about dancers, but also before that, before the holidays hit, I was like saying, I can't, I'm out of my lunar earth, which is super sedimentary, watercolor, lots of granulation, beautiful, and lunar black, which I do have some left of, but I want to use these in a painting, so they may go into this dancer painting that we're going to do, uh, but I may also do some fun, um, just playing with them on the on a small sketch pad, and we can kind of see what they do first, and then we'll we'll take them into a, a full blown painting. I always like to do that. So stay tuned and come back, uh, and we will go from here with our new brush cleaner all filled up and ready to go, and uh, a new uh, almost new year. Uh, getting focused on what we're going to be painting now, and I want to start to think about things I'm going to be selling down the road, so that's why I'm getting back into my painter work. I do sell those pretty well, so I'm kind of excited to share how I do those with you, and you can decide if you want to try something like this, or, um, or create your own human forms and dancers, but you'll get some idea how to use watercolor with the human form, okay? So stay tuned for that, and I'm off we go. Uh, See you there at the table.